For those who are just joining us, welcome. We could not be more thrilled to introduce this next session. It is with great honor and admiration that I present to you the Equator Prize 2020 Award Ceremony. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Tucker. And I'm Sophie. And, and we're, we're Sophie, Sophie Tucker. Tucker. We're honored to be here for the Equator Prize Award Ceremony 2020. Today we're celebrating and recognizing community-based solutions that work in harmony with nature. To the indigenous peoples and local communities that have won this year's Equator Prize, we want to say congratulations. To celebrate, we're going to play our song, Drinky.
Hi, my name is uh, J.C. Catholic. I'm from Crystal Cay, Northwest Territories, uh, up from Northern Canada. I'm from the uh, Dennis Home Canada Nation. Uh, and today, uh, my community of Crystal Cay was one of the winners for the uh, uh, for the Equator uh, the Equator Award. So, so today we're going to be uh, uh, offering prayers uh, to all the winners uh, for for the uh, you know for the things that uh, you know the communities have been doing uh, to uh, to protect our our lands, our waters, our wildlife, mm -hmm. and uh, you know so so today you're going to be offering tobacco. And also, we're going to be singing songs, the uh, fighter ceremony. We're going to ask for prayers for our uh, ancestors from the four directions. You know, like to help us to, uh, to uh, protect our lands. And so we, so we ask them in the spirit world, like to help us out on this side. So I'm just going to offer tobacco in the fourth direction. I offer prayers for all the communities and for all the nations around the world. To keep our uh, Mother Earth clean and uh, for all people to have an opportunity to to also enjoy nature. Ahu, merci to JC Catholic, thank you for blessing the Equator Prize Ceremony 2020. This award ceremony goes back to 2002. It was created to honor and appreciate local and indigenous communities who are doing extraordinary work looking for nature based solutions. But this year is the first time we've ever had a virtual Equator Prize Ceremony. We are sending the prizes around the globe to our winners. We're not expecting them to all pile into New York. That wouldn't be safe. But it does mean that we can tap into some of the most extraordinary people as presenters to present the awards to the winners. My name is Femi O.K. Trust me, you are not going to want to go anywhere for the next 90 minutes. You're going to be glued to the screen. Akim Steiner is the Administrator for the United Nations Development Programme. Hello Akim, welcome to the awards ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and colleagues, on behalf of the Equator Initiative Partnership, it gives me great pleasure to open this year's Equator Prize ceremony. 2020 is a year like no other. Amid the economic and social chaos wrought by COVID-19 and the environmental havoc caused by climate change, forest fires and biodiversity loss, we need hope and we need solutions. As we mark the 75th anniversary of the United Nations and in the midst of a pandemic, we are reminded that when we come together as a global family, we can indeed overcome humanity's greatest challenges. However, never before have we faced such a complex and multidimensional planetary emergency. We are facing a health crisis, a climate crisis, a biodiversity crisis and an inequality crisis all at once. 
The theme of this year's Equator Prize, Nature for Life, in recognition of the essential role that nature plays in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. This year's 10 Equator Prize winners, selected from hundreds of applications, shows us how local initiatives are hard at work on nature-based solutions all over the world. In particular, the winners show us the value of working with nature for climate action, for water security, and for inclusive prosperity. They show us the importance of putting nature at the very heart of sustainable development. Their stories and the many hundreds like them provide a blueprint to solve our planetary emergency. And it is clear that we need a profound transformation. We must accelerate the transition towards green, circular and inclusive economies. We must green business and finance practices by making the loss of nature a material risk and by striking fair and equitable partnerships with communities. We must reimagine conservation with new partnerships between indigenous peoples, local communities, governments and businesses that place human rights and secure land tenure at the very heart. This year's Equator Prize winners show us that this transformation is not only possible, but rather that it is already happening across the globe. Our task now is to listen to these stories and others like them, to help magnify, replicate and scale up their efforts, and to accelerate the many transformations that must occur in this, the next decade. We are on the eve of the first UN Biodiversity Summit, where the world's governments will hopefully commit to bolder action on nature. We are also in the midst of the Decade of Action for the Sustainable Development Goals. Everyone, including governments, businesses and communities, must now commit to bolder action. Never have the stakes been higher for people or for our planet. The decisions we make and the actions we take in this decade will decide the course of the next century and probably beyond. Indeed, partnerships have never been as important as today. To our many partners, and especially to the governments of Norway, Germany and Sweden, we also thank you for your generous support in helping us shine a light on this year's winners. To this year's Equator Prize winners, we congratulate you and thank you for your inspirational efforts. And to everyone connecting with us today, we invite you to join us in recognizing, celebrating and emulating these local actions for people, for nature, for life, for all of us. Thank you. Una crisis de la naturaleza. El coronavirus ha puesto nuestro mundo de cabeza. Change is happening. We now see the fragility of our planet. Et la profondeur des inégalités comme signe d'une économie mondiale brisée. But we see something else. Una solución basada en la naturaleza. A local solution. Una solución indígena. Qui a aidé a guérir notre planète. Restaurar nuestro futuro. Somos una solución a la crisis de la desigualdad. Nous assurons l'avenir de nos grands singes et de nous-mêmes. We are refusing poverty while staying true to our culture. Nuestras comunidades están trabajando juntas a través de prácticas ancestrales y sustentables defendiendo la vida y el territorio. Manteniendo vivo el conocimiento tradicional a través de nuestra relación con la naturaleza, generando puestos de trabajo bajo el liderazgo de mujeres y recibiendo los beneficios justos por nuestros productos. <tose> Mahuta kita lihat di tot cetot pa.
We are a solution to our climate crisis. Protegemos nuestra tierra local e indígena. By co-managing 26,000 square kilometers of boreal forest. Hutan Primar, seluas 20,000 kilometer persegi. Salva guardando 20,000 kilometers cuadrados de selva primaria. And as equal partners, we are helping nature thrive while keeping carbon in the ground. Kami, Kami yang, yang jaga, jaga agar, agar tidak terjadi kerusakan parah akibat perubahan iklim. Saya yang faul nama kerjendal. Kalau bayi omel gay gompote, saya yang pinyente, kaya mahate, mana kini mau wata tapi mai. Anda lalang family kas, anda nama lalang ni mai jah ni bunca bapa rum farian dalam pisai. Aku kelang pukpong pa cum nam. Saya yang memilih nama don jalan nai, ni tundun nai, ni sakap nai, ni kerjena nai. เขากำลังฟื้นฟูอนาคตของเขาเด็กคุยเนี่ยแค่มึงมาอุกุไปหาเงินเนี่ยใครไหวอยากอุ Custodiamos el 80% de la biodiversidad del mundo. Nuestra mayor riqueza es nuestra sabiduría y nuestro conocimiento colectivo. La partager, c'est notre culture, notre métier. Ta dog na wa, ta malo ni dalo bo, ta nulo ma kudara wa ne, mi si ta malo. We are protecting and restoring our planet. Our lives. Y somos la última generación que puede resolver esta emergencia. We are the Susugatene First Nation. Alianza Save. National Alliance for Save. Alianza 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 Save. Alianza
ต้องใช้ทุนอยู่แล้วไงเริ่มจากก็คือเรื่องเสื้อที่เราช่วยกันใส่แบบต่อต้านพวกในทุนอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะและหลังจากนั้นก็สมทบทุนให้พี่น้องอะไรญาติบ้านหมู่บ้านเราเนี่ยค่ะพี่น้องเราช่วยกันเนี่ยค่ะเมื่อเจ้าบ้านหมานตัวก็ที่นี่ก็มิเริ่มมีการเคลื่อนไหวแล้วก็ซื้อสารไปตั้งนอกนะฮึเปิลฮึเปิลห้องอย่างมีคนตั้งนอกนะครับหูและก็เปิดห้องอย่างเขาก็ได้หูว่าเออเปิดว่าปลาเสื่อมโซมนี่เนี่ยจะได้ทำให้เป็นหันว่ามันสมบูรณ์กว่าปลาเสื่อมโซมเนี่ยถึงแปดเต่าเนี่ยเขาก็เอาข้อนี้ไปหักไปล่างกับหากรับเป็นนองในภาพบางส่วนสมัยตะกอนนี่ค่าว่าการปลูกปลาเขาบอกหมดต้องปลูกก็ได้ไม่ทำมีปลาเลยมั้งวะแต่เรื่องนี้เมื่อมีกลุ่มขึ้นมาเนี่ยเขาก็พยายามเนี่ยหึงปัญหาว่าเออในส่วนที่มันว่ามันแวงบางเตี่ยปลาที่มันมาสมบูรณ์เขาก็ไปหนุนเสริมหาต้นไม้หาอย่างไปเพิ่มตอนนั้นคือมันมีเป็นห้องอย่างสีเขียวนักที่สุดอะฮะฮิสไมออเนอร์แอนด์แอมเวอร์มัชเดลิเทดทูบีอาร์ทออฟเดอ2020อีควอเตอร์ไพรส์แอดบ้านบุญเรียงฮิสแอนด์อินสปายริงส
And yes, I would love to come and visit you. As soon as COVID is over, we will be there. Our second winner in the water category, we go to Madagascar. Arakan kay takum bola ang bola kiel tan ng palto na in na to na tan di takti na kiel jali tun fa fit fa li karasa na tun matin ke kiel li karasa na yung full karama kung tun ka karli hula tan bola tin si fitambana if I'm cut on drama di sam manusi tis 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 la lana zani tis la lana wi fika tun ang tun di am ni asayan ko ang Di asam manusi tini atau ni 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 arah tu apa sih nazaran setia misli arah tu madin masu sensis di tawarin aja zaman itu ni ni fitz ni fitz ya di sam tunggu saya nama zaman cara ini tu bi inna ni fit petam bau rasa nama nathan ti di nanrai fit petam kiaskian di nanangkan fit jambanan di nanum katiu zaman yang terakan fit jambanan tamia. Tena wewe miars miasanya, dien pun nama anti dina mti om di merivo, isan zaid semai semia anti sathi masafawaz mufa isan tena at pivelumanu lar ma ikina ni ni ulamit santi tu ti anjan piti. Rifani ni niar sana nazar lala nazar tu fikir bandar tu kan di tani vota ni vota arun tunggu ni tunggu 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 tam zaman tu zaman ya. Dia kua ni fa fa nazar ini lisa hendri kami sen wan pambulia seni pun nama anti ten dia kun family kahzwa zaid semai si atau isaton. Tanah faham beli na futsal ni fsania, faizaiku, bulan miara kami rutan dulu itu ni funi fuktanya, kuda kuda sim kiat yang jauh sana kasur itu fatu mamilas yang so futsal. Fahiran rampi ti, yuran itu tiun faham mana iten, faham mana ni panaratung fatu mantanan mantul, awan ini musudran, awan ran kuan nai, awab nani. Bibsiup na mana salam pana manin ran kuan ni fahit cakap ni fah mati si mungkin nama tiu raniu semis malut nama tu kat ram mantul nama ni fah nama mantul na fah beri ran lain na lain Je m'appelle Baumia Ftseva Inalar Arnirin et je suis ministre de l'Environnement et du Développement Durable de Madagascar. Avec le professeur Hanzem, nous avons l'honneur de remettre le prix Équateur au Vunjunul Lifutani Tatam Mihai Anadjanpe. Honoré de prendre la parole à l'occasion de la remise du prix de l'Équateur, c'est en ma qualité de président de l'Académie Malgache que je parlerai aujourd'hui. Je ne reviendrai pas sur l'importance technique et stratégique d'un tel projet et j'aimerais attirer l'attention des uns et des autres sur le défi, pour ne pas dire le pari que représente le projet dans la structure et dans l'évolution de Madagascar. Voici un exemple de communauté et d'environnement prenant soin l'un de l'autre. Voici un exemple qui peut être reproduit non seulement à Madagascar, mais dans le monde entier. Veuillez vous joindre à moi pour adresser mes plus sincères félicitations à Tamia. Au nom du ministère de l'Environnement et du Développement Durable, je vous félicite d'avoir remporté ce prix Équateur 2020 et de vos réalisations très inspirantes. Le monde entier connaît maintenant le lac Anjanbe, votre maison. Et pour conclure, toutes mes félicitations à vous, Tamia unique dans l'histoire de Madagascar. Mais la première, congratulations.
Congratulations indeed. I'm going to take a moment to speak to Henri from Voigtamia. And Henri, what I wanted to know is what is the route to get to well-being, equity and sustainable development in Madagascar? The Voigtamia is with success 90 hectares of lac in the B in the center of Madagascar. We have reduced the cost of the community to reduce the irrigation, reduce the sample and double the capacity of the fish of lac. Nous avons atteint la sécurité de l'eau et de nous nourrir grâce aux efforts collectifs de nos quatre communautés ancrées dans nos systèmes de valeurs et nos pratiques traditionnelles. Mais si nous voulons avoir un plus grand impact, si nous voulons réaliser l'équité, le bien-être et le développement durable à travers de Madagascar, nous devons avoir le droit à la souveraineté et l'autogouvernance de nos ressources. Pour amorcer un changement transformationnel pour tout le Madagascar, nous avons besoin de droits d'accès garantis, nous avons besoin du régime foncier, nous avons besoin du soutien des initiatives d'entrepreneuriat communautaire adaptées à la culture, y compris celle des femmes et des jeunes. Did you hear those birds tweeting there around Henri of Voidamia? Even they were celebrating. Thank you, birds. Congratulations, Voidamia. So the final prize in the water category will be presented by Partners in Life and Activism, Julie Styler and Stink. And the winner is... Monito con ve ate y monipa. E peiri tono o meiri nanite. Me meiri que viñomo o meiri. Tome nani o romo nanita pa ve gompote que vini ante. Si a ya da huanere. Son juta nenyane ye ya wu. Gua inte que vini ante. O no boca. Niomo guarum ba pompa. Compañea vino a barum pompa. Monito vimo. Monito inairi. Monito aweiri. Petróleo ama de ancho y cuzú en que inducción de que apajifa. En que ya ya caxien de que que hecho tza que atayupia que no tzimitzú. Por eso hemos decidido unirnos. Somos AI. Somos Yona. Somos Yekobain. Somos Wau. Somos la Alianza Seibo. Epemo baron tamani pa monito girinani be mil epemo ano ba in setenta gan kanani kiminyomo. Ome kita monipa epentono nenki aki orani onkone. Desarrollando alternativas económicas sostenibles al extractivismo y revitalizando las prácticas culturales ancestrales en generaciones más jóvenes. Anobain, Ome, Mapa, Barontamonipa, Piquenani, Nanipone, Evanonquete, Ome, Gompote, Kimimimoni, Goromenque, Antiquetamonipa. Y compartiendo historias con el mundo a través de películas y medios digitales. <risa> Ha sido declarada victoria para Sinangüe, para los pueblos indígenas. Ángel Audeoji, Ángel Payu. Monito ye kene arubain e pentono ome ne a moni monipa. Hello, I'm Sting. And I'm Trudy Styler. 
As we record this, the Amazon rainforest, one of the world's most biodiverse ecosystems and a critical buffer against climate change, is burning out of control. For too long, governments and industries have taken the forest and its peoples for granted. Since the 1970s, hundreds of thousands of square kilometres of the Earth's largest rainforest have been destroyed to turn a profit for oil, mining and logging companies. The forests cut down or burnt to make way for large-scale agriculture and ranching. We are all paying the price as global temperatures rise and mass extinctions of species destabilize our life-sustaining ecosystems. And yet, indigenous peoples of the Amazon risk their lives every day to keep the forest and our future intact. While they make up less than 5% of the global population, they inhabit and protect 80% of the Earth's most biodiverse regions like the Amazon. Today we're here to present the Equator Prize to the Alianza Sabo, an indigenous-led Ecuadorian nonprofit working to protect indigenous territory, cultural survival, and to build viable alternatives to rainforest destruction. The Alliance is made up of four indigenous nations, the Kofan, Siona, Sequoia and Warani peoples, whose advocacy has successfully revoked mining and oil concessions and protected more than 20,000 square kilometres of primary rainforest. Through mapping, they document their stewardship of their lands and support legal filings for land titles. Their community patrols trace illegal incursions into their territories. Their young people train in documentary filmmaking and storytelling to preserve their cultures and traditional knowledge. Alianza Sebo also provides clean water to over 6,000 people, connects communities to solar power and supports women entrepreneurs. Powerful, effective, and life-preserving, the Alianza Sebo has established a model for indigenous resistance and rainforest protection. It is our absolute honor to present this year's Equator Prize Award to our friends, the Alianza Sebo. If Sting and Trudy are clapping, I am going to be clapping as well. I have to ask you this, Alianza Sabre, congratulations. The way that you work together as a group, you have a unified approach, you bring the partners together. How has that helped? La protección de nuestros territorios requieren una acción indígena unificada y solidaridad global, por lo que formamos una nueva alianza entre naciones indígenas. Juntos somos fuertes. Sí, 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 Kawai Piñati Amo. Uy, Pérez, Epaj, Airo, Pío, Pati, Añe, Peoye. Añe, Paina, Pain, Pusca, Tañe, Ñañe, Piconi, Yure, Guaj, Tecnología, Paille, Pinej, Chisca, Airo, Ñaj, Ñeje, Nej, Pañ, Un Calle, Reti, Añe. Marta, Zafalle. Inge minga ninge itzumba anga yusha afaba inge ande nida hechuma. Inge ai derecho matayamba, inge ai kansik ninge inhamba tatapa huka ninge nyotse kansi achue inhamba anga ye. Esta es la clave de nuestra capacidad para superar las amenazas que enfrentamos. Desde COVID-19 a la mentalidad de extracción a toda costa de las empresas y los gobiernos. Nuestra lucha es por nuestra cultura, es por nuestra Amazonía y es por toda la planeta. There are times in life when you know that whatever you are planning to say, that Dr. Jane Goodall is going to say so much better. Dr. Goodall, over to you. Hello, I'm Jane Goodall. I'm really honoured and proud to be part of this virtual Equator Prize 2020. 
We're in the middle of a pandemic. It's caused immense suffering and disrupted economies all around the world. To some extent, we brought this upon ourselves by our absolute disregard of the natural world and animals. At the same time, we're also faced by a far greater threat to our future, to the future of all life on earth, including our own great, great, great grandchildren. And that's the climate crisis. For years, climate scientists have been warning us of the effects of a heating planet as our emissions cause these greenhouse gases to trap the heat of the sun. Governments, businesses, citizens have largely ignored these warnings. Before the pandemic, I was traveling 300 days a year and with my own eyes, I saw the result of climate change, the changing weather patterns around the world. I've stood in Greenland and seen the ice melting. I've met people who had to have had to leave their island homes because at high tide, sea level rise has made those islands uninhabitable. I've seen the results of the worsening hurricanes, the results of the flooding and the droughts, the results of the wildfires, wildfires that are burning in a terrifying way right now in the Western United States. Scientists have warned us that we're very close to a tipping point at which it will be too late to reverse these changes, but we still have a window of time, a window of time when we need to protect forests and woodlands, peatlands, wetlands and mangrove forests. We need to capture CO2 from the atmosphere through trees and store it in their trunks and the ground where it belongs. Every one of us can play a part in this. And to see what communities can do when they work together, we need go no further than look at the projects of the winners of this year's, this year's uh, nature for climate category in the Equator Prize 2020. So just glancing at some of the projects, and I wish that I could hear about them in person, but the projects range from protecting forests in Myanmar, protecting the tundra in the Arctic, protecting jungles in Borneo, and in all of these projects and others, carbon dioxide has been captured and sequestered where it belongs. So we need to listen to the voices of these indigenous peoples. We need to take heed of their wisdom, the wisdom that has enabled them in so many places to live in harmony with nature for thousands of years. And so it's with great delight that I introduce the category Nature for Climate in this year's Equator Prizes. Thank you. We were always told, and I can remember as a child, Nivovni, that means watch over the land. The vision of our elders has been to protect the land. They knew, you know, the land needed to sustain us, and they chose the most beautiful area, I believe. It's a big territory, it requires a lot of resources. It requires a, a recognized law that uh, that non political DNA will respect. Uh, will make it illegal for them to do any damage to the Gananana. I'd like to welcome everybody to Pizza traditional territory. I'm glad that you all could make it here to witness 
and be a part of this historical day. brought the land, our law, and our way of life, and no one, no one joined to the table. They brought their law and some financial resources. The site in the trust that will be owned by the First Nations, the Fiscal in the First Nations, that gives us real independence. We don't have to go to Canada or the government of the territories. By having access to the fund, we can bring indigenousness and in land management operations of Flight and in it. Indigenousness, uh, the spiritual, reciprocal relationship we have with the land that most indigenous people have with their lands and territories across the world. The land that gives life, life to us as a Dene gives us a sense of identity, a great sense of responsibility. Uh, it will continue to provide that, that, that space uh, that we can call home forever. Uh, and everybody needs a home in this world. Good morning, I'm Clara Hughes, six-time Olympic medalist and humanitarian. I'm honored to be here today to present the 2020 Equator Prize to Lutzel K. Dene First Nation. After 40 years of advocacy, they achieved their vision of protecting lands and waters for future generations by signing agreements with national and territorial governments and officially creating Thai Dene Nene, Land of the Ancestors, a 26,000 square kilometer area protected between the boreal forest and the Arctic tundra. My husband Peter and I back in 2010 had the great gift of kayaking into Thaidene Nene, this pristine landscape that features some of the cleanest fresh water on earth and is a habitat for grizzly bears, wolverine, wolves, moose, and some of the last herds of barren ground caribou. This Indigenous-led conservation model is made possible through an innovative conservation finance mechanism called the Thaidene Nene Trust which is critical to the long-term conservation of this protected area. The trust and Indigenous local leadership lay the groundwork for this effective model of co-management. So please join me in congratulating Lutzel K. Dene First Nation for this well-deserved win. Congratulations, my friends. Lutzel K. Dene, congratulations. Also, the very first Equator Prize winners to come from Canada. The relationship, the partnership that you have with the Canadian government is really interesting. Can you tell us more about relationships. that? Relationships. We feel the relationships we created between different levels of governments in Canada to establish Taitanana as a timely example for the world as it moves to protect the remaining 25% biodiversity left on Earth. We want to recognize our newest ancestors and those elders still with us for putting us on this road that is now Thaitan Nana. We acknowledge and thank our young people for accepting their responsibilities to Thaitan Nana and the Dana Sonkina way of life. We would like to express our appreciation to the Government of Canada and the Government of the Northwest Territories for agreeing to walk with us on this road as equal partners. We look forward to working with our partners using our indigenous knowledge systems and laws along with, along with modern Western science and state laws in the governance, management and operations of Thaita Nana. When safe to do so, Sutsuke will share our love for Thaita Nana with the world. Marci Cho. Working with nature for climate, that is the category we are in. If you protect the land, you protect trees, that right there is climate action. And that is exactly what our winners from Indonesia know 
and practice. Have a look. Hari-hari dalam budaya masyarakat Dayak berladang, berburu, mencari hasil, hasil hutan. Nah itu semua hal yang menghidupi masyarakat Dayak itu. Sehingga kalau ada kebijakan pembangunan yang mengancam tempat hidupnya, rumahnya, ruang hidupnya, mengancam keseluruhan hidup masyarakat Dayak itu sendiri. Taman Nasional punya aturan pembatasan bagi masyarakat adat untuk memanfaatkan sumber daya alam di dalam. Sementara masyarakat adat memandang wilayah adatnya membagi ruangnya sesuai dengan prinsip kearifan lokal yang ada. Pasti ada ruang-ruang tertentu yang dilindungi untuk kepentingan tertentu Mulai tahun 1994 itu dilakukan pemetaan desa partisipatif. Jadi wilayah adat itu dipetakan, dipetakan oleh masyarakat adat itu sendiri dan kemudian tahun 2000 dibentuk FOMA supaya di dalam Taman Nasional itu diakui ini keberadaan masyarakat adat Apa yang menjadi pemicu kenapa FOMA itu terbentuk karena e, kekhawatiran. Kepala adat, 11 kepala adat ini berkumpul, bermusyawarah karena kekhawatiran yang sama. 11 wilayah adat ini masuk di dalam Taman Nasional. Di Taman Nasional kan Tarang. Tetapi kami yang kami inginkan yang adalah pengelolaan kolaboratif ya, di mana masyarakat adat di 11 wilayah adat itu ikut menjadi pengelolanya. Kenapa kami berusaha menjaga itu? Karena kami pahami Kalau hilang wilayah adat kami, hilang hutan kami, hilang tanah adat kami, hilang pula kami. Karena orang tidak akan kenal kami lagi, karena kami memang sudah hidup menyatu keseharian kami adalah uh, apa yang kami lakukan di dalam wilayah adat kami. Good evening, my name is Nicholas Saputra and I'm an actor and producer. It gives me a great pleasure to be here with you to present the 2020 Equator Prize to Alliance of the Indigenous Peoples of the Kayan Mentarang National Park. Bringing together 11 indigenous groups, Forum Musyawarah Masyarakat Adat Taman Nasional Kayan Mentarang, or called FOMA, advocates for the rights of communities who live on 20,000 square kilometers of customary land in Northern Kalimantan. Their ancestor forests and rivers overlap with the Kayan Mentarang National Park, the first in Indonesia to be placed under a collaborative management arrangement. Government and indigenous authorities represented by FOMA jointly decide on resource management and traditional access and use rights, promoting local stewardship over the park. FOMA has supported communities to document and map their territories. In 2019, they secured legal recognition for a first block of 2,500 square kilometers of customary land under national law. FOMA's communities pursue traditional forest-based local economics, which protect the rainforest, mitigating climate change. Congratulations to the Alliance of the Indigenous Peoples of the Kayan Mentarang National Park. Thank you, Nicholas. I, I have to ask the Alliance, FOMA, and I know there are going to be more than one person answering me, and that is the importance of the forest to you, to your lives, to culture, to society. Tell me that. 
Mungkin bagi orang lain, hutan hanyalah sekedar flora dan fauna. Tapi bagi kami masyarakat Dayak, hutan, sungai, dan segala sumber daya alam di dalamnya adalah rumah dan kekuatan kami yang kami pelihara dan lestarikan dengan kearifan leluhur. Hutan dan wilayah adat adalah sumber identitas dan martabat kami. Kami mengelola wilayah adat kami dengan bijak melalui lembaga adat dan tradisi musyawarah. Kami menghormati dan memelihara ruang di wilayah adat kami yang memiliki nilai sejarah warisan leluhur yang sangat berharga, bahkan lebih daripada emas bagi kami. Sebagai urat nadi kehidupan kami yang kami jaga untuk sekarang dan generasi masa depan kami. Wilayah adat adalah ikatan kami, kekuatan yang kami turun you hear that? That's the sweet sound of unity. Congratulations, Foma. Couple of firsts for the 2020 Equator Prize ceremony, uh, and this is one of them. We have never ever have winners from Myanmar. Let's take a look. Let's see what they've been doing. Patuli Poderipa Ahoko Kapi, Amopa Pipu Hoko, the Lawa, the Persian Recle, the Wene, Tatini Weda Law, a club over the Hoko, a Tamuto Wella Rido, Cosim Lagayaka, who never met a letter. Milepo, Kulutamita Vicura in a letter where I yak a tall Ligia square kilometre. A Rido Kale, a man near Lemitinian in honor. The Karen people, like many other indigenous communities, they see themselves as part of the natural world around them. And they firmly believe that the health of the environment directly corresponds to their own health and prosperity. In the Sunlin Peace Park, people's participation and representation are specifically uh, provided in decision making. Also, community rights are strongly recognized at the heart of the Sunlin Peace Park Charter, and gender equality is strongly integrated. ขอรอตะคัลเลอปะปากะญอพุลเลอุเลฮอกวอปูกะโดนิบาอาทอเวดาตะสญอเปลอตะควยยาดอตะมิตะคือ <laughs> With these three pillars, the idea is to turn the battlefield into a peaceful and harmonious refuge for life in the Solim Peace Park. ดอเวเตญาปะปนอเวดาปะทุลิโพตะเควตะยาเลอเวเตอุมูเลฮอกโคกปีเลอมุกะปิปิเฮนิตาฮอคือดอตะดอตะเดเกเวดาคุกเน
After seven decades of conflict, the 5,400 square kilometer Sawin Peace Park was established by a Korean grassroots movement to conserve a unique ecosystem in the southeast of the country based upon an indigenous vision of the sustainable use of nature resources. It is my honor to present the Equator Prize to the Sawin Peace Park, the first ever winner from Myanmar for establishing a sanctuary that enshrines the principles of peace, self-determination, and environmental protection as a rich expression of their Korean identity. It is an inspiring model to all the peoples of our country. Congratulations on your achievement. Your work matters to me, to the world. This is an historic moment for the Equator Prize because Myanmar, this is the first time that we've honoured and awarded a group in Myanmar. What does this mean? What difference will the Equator Prize have to the work and your vision for your initiative? The Equator Prize brings respect and recognition to the Salomon Peace Park. It bolsters our efforts at national and international levels. It encourages law and policy makers to learn from indigenous sustainable development approaches. It also demonstrates that a collaborative model is not only possible, but urgently necessary for the continuation of life on planet Earth. A model like ours that protects indigenous rights and actively involves indigenous peoples in national and international development strategies. The Equatorial Prize will help the Sunlit Peace Pass communities to raise the profile of our achievements. It's a vehicle to broadcast our vision for a peaceful and sustainable future to people across the world. So smile, did you see his smile? I think he was about to do a happy dance. So in Peace Park, congratulations. And now we have a musical break. Chi Siwi Chan is a composer, he's a musician, he's an activist. This is a good place for him to play for you. Hello everyone, my name is Chi Siwi Chan and I'm very proud to congratulate the Salawin Peace Park for the important accomplishment to the nature and the community and for receive the prestigious Igora Prize. As I'm a Pokonyo musician or current musician, I stand with you and support your nature-based solution roots in the traditional ecological practice of the Kothule in Myanmar. I would like to perform the following song as a celebration of your achievement with the very important music instrument of the Borneo or current people. So, and also this is the sound of current people, the sound of nature and the sound of super nature.
moment to tell you a little bit of what happens behind the scenes on the Equator Prize. It is very much a collaborative team effort between the UNDP, the Equator Initiative, and the groups and the communities of Indigenous or local people themselves. For instance, they decide who they want to give their, their prize to them. They, they make that decision. They have a list. Who do we want to give the prize to us? Who do we value? Who do we care about? Number one, they also told the Equator Prize for this year that they had a special message to the audience watching. I know you've seen these beautiful videos. I know you've seen these extraordinary initiatives. Everything seems to be working perfectly. And what they wanted to tell you was a reality check. So you will see that in just a moment. But first, this is a hard right turn, but we can do this. Stay with me. Henry Golding is an actor and a producer. You probably know him as Nick Young from Crazy Rich Asians. Henry is going to officially open a final prize category for the Equator Prize Ceremony. Henry, over to you. Our global economy depends on nature. From value chains to production processes to food systems, natural resources are an essential component of economic well-being. As such, it is also a key part to building prosperous livelihoods. I was born on the island of Borneo, or Kalimantan as many also call it. Palm oil plantations and the deforestation of native forest on Borneo have contributed not only to the decline in biodiversity, this has created an inequality problem as communities struggle to maintain sustainable income as a result of the environmental destruction. I have witnessed this firsthand in my home and it troubles me. Now, the Equator Prize winners show a different pathway. Our four incredible winners in this category are sustainably managing natural resources, implementing traditional agriculture knowledge, and creating innovative business models around their cultural heritage. They do this against all odds. They provide hope for me and for the world. The models we are about to see provide an excellent example of how working in harmony with nature can benefit both people 
and the planet. We need more of these models and we need more support of them. From Guatemala to the Congo, from Kenya to Mexico, these winners of the 2020 Equator Prize are showing that by cherishing nature, it is possible to create viable livelihoods for their communities while promoting gender equality and conserving biodiversity. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce the category of Nature for Prosperity for the 2020 Equator Prize Awards Ceremony. ¿Qué hemos hecho en 35 años de lucha? Sembrar, luchar contra el fuego a cada momento. Gente que nada que ver con, esas, con el bosque que hemos plantado, ahora tratan de, de decir, bueno, yo le pongo mano a eso también. Pero seguir luchando por estas tierras, no tendría dónde vivir. Queremos que nuestros derechos pues, sean respetados. Hoy ya no se puede cosechar nada, ¿por qué? Porque tanto quinto. Vienen el helicóptero aquí arriba de la casa a echar el veneno. No, ya no sirve el agua, pues, porque tiene mucha basura. La asociación Usche surge como necesidad de colectivizar las luchas comunitarias sobre la defensa del territorio, el respeto y el reconocimiento a las formas propias de organización comunitaria. Representa el trabajo colectivo por la defensa ambiental, la defensa de los derechos humanos y promoción de buenas prácticas agroecológicas en forestería comunitaria. Tenemos que tener un bosque de lujo, 
el hecho de tenerlo no es solo el beneficio para nosotros, sino que estamos respirando un aire puro. Promovemos y facilitamos las, la participación plena y efectiva de las comunidades indígenas, campesinas, forestales y pesqueras. ¿Cómo nosotras las mujeres nos incluimos a la, a la organización? Hemos traído esa trayectoria de nuestro liderazgo y saber también cómo movilizarnos en la comunidad, buscando las necesidades de las mujeres. USCHE representa la voz del sector comunitario en forestería comunitaria. Se ha logrado la institucionalización de las leyes que favorece al sector comunitario se ha logrado que se reduzca la deuda agraria de algunas comunidades en la costa sur, así como la restitución de tierras a comunidades indígenas. Además, ha servido como una plataforma de defensa a líderes y lideresas comunitarias que fueron criminalizadas por la defensa de sus recursos naturales. Si no hay agua, no tenemos vida. No hay bosque, no hay oxígeno. Y sabemos también de que nosotros somos parte del de pulmón del país, del mundo entero. ¡Reforestemos en comunidad! Hi. I'm David Kamowitz, a senior advisor to the Climate and Land Use Alliance, and I used to run the Ford Foundation's Natural Resources and Climate Program. For 15 years, I've had the privilege of seeing Utsche become a network of over 40 indigenous and mestizo communities, 200,000 women and men taking care of 74,000 hectares of forests, and in the process, improving the lives of 33,000 families. Their exchanges help members learn to manage forests and trees and to farm organically, and they've lobbied successfully to get the governments to support the community's efforts. I'm especially impressed by how Utsche is so democratic and how committed they are to women's equality. And I like the way they include young people and promote intercultural dialogues. Talk about guardians of the forest, Utsche is the real deal. So I couldn't be any prouder to present the Equator Prize to Asociación de Forestería Comunitario, UTSCHE. David, done with Panache, you are a natural born presenter. So UTSCHE, since 2002, 255 organizations have won the Equator Prize across 80 countries. Most organizations will never be in the position that you are in. What does this win mean for you? And what does recognition mean for you? El premio ecuatorial reconoce el esfuerzo y el trabajo de los pueblos indígenas y de las comunidades locales que han entregado sus energías, conocimientos, prácticas, sabiduría e incluso sus vidas para continuar en la defensa y protección de los recursos naturales. Una vez más nos llena de alegría el reconocimiento que recibimos, reafirmamos nuestro compromiso de seguir aportando desde el conocimiento comunitario para lograr nuestros objetivos. Pero también estamos aquí para urgirles a respetar y valorar a nuestras formas de vida. Los pueblos indígenas y las comunidades locales han abogado durante mucho tiempo por los derechos a la tierra a los bosques. Ahora nos encontramos en una coyuntura crítica y sin estos derechos no habrá futuro para el planeta. Sin nuestros protectores de los bosques, el agua y la biodiversidad, la especie humana no puede sobrevivir. Actualmente nuestros defensores de la tierra están siendo difamados, amenazados criminalizados y asesinados por sus esfuerzos por proteger la vida en este planeta. Estas prácticas deben de revertirse de inmediato y nuestras comunidades y sus soluciones basadas en la naturaleza deben recibir apoyo. 
as we are honoring the winners of the Nature for Prosperity category at the Equator Prize, I should tell you that each organization wins $10,000 and also an opportunity to be involved and be engaged with the United Nations. Our next stop in this category takes us to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Take a look. Le bonobo, c'est une espèce unique endémique à la République démocratique du Congo. C'est le seul grand singe le plus proche de l'homme. Plus de 99% d'héritage de patrimoine génétique que nous partageons avec cet animal. L'idée était d'avoir les communautés elles-mêmes gérer leurs forêts et les communautés elles-mêmes travailler pour que la conservation puisse se dérouler. Et ça, on a développé cette idée à Kokolo Puri. The people here said another national park won't work. A model where you draw a boundary and you throw the people out and try to protect it's just not going to work. It's not working in many areas in Central Africa today. Et après Kokolopuri, il y a eu une extension vers d'autres contrées. C'est là le même modèle. La communauté s'organise pour gérer sa forêt, pour gérer les espèces qui sont dans la forêt, mais aussi pour s'organiser de manière à recevoir l'assistance internationale. C'est ça toujours notre vision qui est holistique, triangulaire, protéger l'homme, protéger les bonobos, protéger la forêt, parce qu'ils vivent ensemble. La conservation de la biodiversité et des espèces menacées fait partie de la vision du chef de l'État, son Excellence, Félix Antoine Tshiseke de Chilombo. C'est pourquoi le gouvernement de la République l'a inscrite dans son programme. Cette conservation demeure l'une des priorités du ministère de l'Environnement et du Développement Durable qui ne ménage aucun effort pour sa matérialisation. C'est donc avec grand plaisir que je prends la parole à l'occasion de la remise du prix Équateur 2020 du PNUD, remporté par Vie Sauvage, une organisation qui travaille dans la protection des bonobos et de la biodiversité dans la forêt du Congo. Reconnaissant que le leadership autochtone est fondamental pour des solutions efficaces et durables, la République démocratique du Congo est aujourd'hui à l'honneur à travers De Vie Sauvage, qui est une organisation autochtone locale fondée en 1999 dans une partie reculée du luxuriant bassin du Congo et voué à la promotion de la conservation de la faune et des forêts. Vie sauvage a été le pionnier des modèles holistiques de développement communautaire, de conservation et de consolidation de la paix, aidant ainsi à créer et à gérer la réserve de Kokolopori Bonobo de 4 875 km pour les bonobos et d'autres espèces menacées. Ce prix tombe à point nommé au lendemain du communiqué de presse du 2 septembre 2020 
par lequel le ministre invite la population de l'OMELA en particulier et celle congolaise en général à prêter main forte à l'Institut congolais pour la conservation de la nature, ICCN, afin d'assurer la conservation des Okapi et de toutes les espèces menacées de disparition, dont les bonobos, par suite des effets de braconnage, de commerce illégal et de changement climatique. Au nom du ministère de l'Environnement et du Développement Durable, je tiens à adresser mes sincères félicitations à Vie Sauvage, tout en encourageant les autres communautés à imiter ce modèle de conservation en l'adaptant à leurs écosystèmes. Que vive la République démocratique du Congo et sa riche biodiversité, je vous remercie. Thank you, Minister. Be sauvage, congratulations. What is not to love about the Bonobo? They are the most fascinating animals. You can watch them all day, which I know you do. So explain to us the relationship that you have with the Bonobo, and then how do you protect them, protect the forest, protect the community? Nous, peuple Bongando, célébrons notre interdépendance avec la nature et les Bonobos depuis des générations. Grâce à la création de la réserve naturelle de Bonobo, de Kokolopori et de la forêt de paix de Bonobo, nous avons pu protéger la nature en offrant des opportunités économiques et éducatives à nos communautés. Pourtant, dans les cultures orales comme la nôtre, les connaissances traditionnelles sur la conservation disparaissent rapidement à mesure que le développement non durable se poursuit. Nos connaissances doivent être valorisées préserver et protéger. Les droits sur nos terres et la propriété intellectuelle doivent être respectés. Combinés à la recherche scientifique, les connaissances locales et autochtones sont essentielles au maintien de la vie de nos forêts et de notre planète. Nous invitons les gouvernements à investir en nous et dans les initiatives comme la nôtre pour atteindre les objectifs de développement durable et inclusif. La santé de la forêt et de la planète commence à la base. Cela commence avec nous et les bonobos. The Equator Prize was designed to recognize the work of indigenous peoples, local communities who are using nature-based solutions to tackle issues that they have. So how could this next program in Kenya, how could it, it not win? It's a slam dunk. Absolutely. Take a look. The most critical problem facing wildlife at the moment is the lack of space, lack of habitat. As Maasai community, we've been facing a serious threat. Because of poverty, people began selling their land. There was also a lot of fencing, cutting off wildlife corridors, and cutting off access. Even the community cannot move. So they are livelihood represented by pastoralism was also threatened. We had an idea to break down the fences, to stop the land selling and turn the land into conservation, to conserve wildlife, preserve culture and reduce poverty in the community. Nationally means the place where the soul of nature, the soul of wildlife, meets together with the spirit of the people in a commonly shared space, where people, wildlife and livestock live together in harmony. It's the only conservancy in Masemara that is community-driven, community-managed, community-led. If the community is not compensated, for sharing space with wildlife, then they will just turn the land into other usages, which is not compatible with wildlife conservation.
the landowners are paid a lease fees and we pay the rangers to patrol the land and to protect it from poachers who pose a threat to wildlife. We have created beautiful dams like this one so that our wildlife can drink from. We have regenerated our river and we have a very healthy ecosystem. And recently we used our communication center as a space to make soap with the women and hand sanitizers and sensitize matters on hygiene, especially due to this pandemic by the name coronavirus. We have a feeding program where we are seeing 10,000 people getting fed and it's amazing what communities can do when they pull together and take care of their land and take care of their wildlife. My name is Margaret Atwood. I write books, and I am a friend, admirer, and supporter of Nashulai Maasai Conservancy. When I met Nelson Noli Rea, the co-founder of Nashulai about four years ago, Nashulai was just an idea. What was that idea? That the Maasai could again be stewards of their own lands, that they could combine ancestral knowledge with modern science to preserve this internationally important ecosystem, that people and wild animals could again live in proximity as they did for ages. A win for nature, a win for community, a win for the world. Nashulai would be the first Maasai-owned and managed conservancy in the famed Maasai Mara. People of the land, not from outside, would help the land. That idea is now a reality. And what the people of Nashulai have accomplished in such a short span of time is extraordinary. They have regenerated the commons, rehabilitated the grasslands and a crucial watershed, protected and increased wildlife, helped lift the community from poverty. In the face of COVID and the food security crisis it brought to the region, they managed to distribute food on a weekly basis, not only to their own community, but to over 10,000 people in villages nearby. You have proven the strength of your model, which has now become a blueprint for others. You have shown the wisdom of the elders, the commitment and capacity of youth. You are an inspiration for our difficult times. On behalf of all of us who can learn so much from you, it is my honor to present the 2020 Equator Prize to Nashulai Maasai Conservancy. Many congratulations. Kira Puki Nashulai. We are all Nashulai. Nashulai Maasai Conservancy. Margaret Atwood, really? She's your friend? Excellent. That is not my question. <laughs> this is my question. You have such an innovative approach to conservation. How can we learn from that model that's worked for you? Nationally disruptive, innovative conservation model has demonstrated that care of place and care for community can be mutually and powerfully reinforcing. We have demonstrated that a sustainable harmony of wildlife, pastoral community, and their hearts is possible. Indeed, that is the very meaning of our name, Nashulai. We are not alone in this vein of advocacy. Our planet needs all of us to work together with a message of hope and courage. Nashulai is living proof that if you want to restore the planet, you need to work with indigenous peoples. We believe that preserving the local culture of the Mara Serengeti is key to the conservation of its interlinked natural ecosystem. Preserving culture and conserving wildlife 
are the pillars of our conservation model that aims at reversing poverty. One more place to go and then you have met all of our winners all around the world. Let's head to Mexico. <music> Esta es una crema anti envejecimiento que nos ayuda a prevenir las líneas de expresión. Es una crema elaborada con colágeno de lombriz, con vitamina E, con jalea real y bueno, la base neutra de la crema para todo tipo de piel. Mujeres y Ambiente surge de una necesidad con la inquietud de cuidar nuestro entorno y mitigar el calentamiento global. Para nosotros ha sido básico tener en cuenta pues, los recursos genéticos en cuanto a la riqueza que nos ofrece cada una de las plantas. Son varias ecotecnias que nos permiten cuidar las plantas utilizadas para los productos, pues son cuidadas sin agroquímicos, todas las ecotecnias que ayudan a mitigar el calentamiento global. Fuimos 35 mujeres que iniciamos trabajando ecotecnias. Empezamos cultivando los bricomposta, huerto de hortaliza y fogones ahorradores. Tenemos muchas plantas, sobre todo son medicinales, con las cuales pues estamos eh, elaborando todos nuestros, nuestros productos y pues la mayoría de nuestras recetas pues todas están basando en el conocimiento tradicional. Es un conocimiento que viene de nuestros antepasados, desde nuestros bisabuelos, luego los abuelos, ahora los papás y los papás a nosotros. Y pues esto nosotros lo vamos transmitiendo también a las nuevas generaciones. Entonces si nosotros no lo conservamos, pues tampoco lo podemos transmitir. cuidamos la naturaleza, nos estamos cuidando a nosotros, porque pues yo insisto que la tierra es la madre nuestra y hay que cuidarla, porque de ella nos alimentamos, entonces hay que aprender a vivir con la tierra y no de la tierra. Hay que hacer las cosas lo mejor posible, porque por donde pasemos tenemos que dejar una huella y que la huella que dejemos sea una huella de bienestar para todos. Y esa es la mayor riqueza que podemos brindar a los demás. No quedarnos con lo que tenemos, sino siempre compartirlo. Buenos días. Mi nombre es Lila Downs. Es un honor para mí estar aquí para entregar el premio a Mujeres y Ambiente. En el estado de Querétaro, esta asociación liderada y fundada por mujeres ha creado un círculo con una empresa española con conciencia ambiental, el gobierno mexicano y una universidad local para el desarrollo y comercio de cosméticos basados en el toronjil. El acuerdo firmado entre las partes se considera uno de los primeros casos de pleno cumplimiento del Protocolo de Nagoya sobre acceso y distribución de beneficios. La asociación apoya a las mujeres emprendedoras para hacer crecer sus microempresas agrícolas y se dedica a la conservación, restauración y educación de la biodiversidad sobre prácticas ecológicas. Esto ha generado que las mujeres puedan crear grandes puestos de trabajo y mejorar los medios de vida en su comunidad, basándose en el conocimiento tradicional, 
sobre hierbas y plantas medicinales locales que se comparte entre generaciones. ¡Qué importante labor! Muchas felicidades, mujeres y ambiente. Lila Down smiles, I'm smiling, everybody's smiling. Mujeres y ambiente, congratulations. It is obvious that you have managed to use the knowledge of women, the power of women, to make your organization work. It is nature-based. You have got solutions right there. Tell us more about that. Somos una iniciativa liderada por mujeres que busca mitigar las inequidades de género, la degradación ambiental, la desertificación, la pobreza, la migración y la delincuencia que ocurre en la zona donde vivimos. Somos una organización que cree en el bienestar, la conservación, el aprovechamiento y el uso de nuestra biodiversidad, nuestra naturaleza. Junto a otras comunidades hemos sido pioneros en la participación de beneficios asociados al acceso a recursos genéticos y conocimientos tradicionales asociados en el sector cosmético. Esperamos que el éxito de esta colaboración entre la comunidad, la universidad y el sector privado se pueda replicar y escalar para que sea una propuesta que beneficie de manera real nuestra economía. Equator Prize Awards would not have been possible without one of Este Lorde companies, Germany, Norway, Sweden, the governments of all of those countries. And of course, our 10 organizations from around the world. I'm not crying, you're crying. Whoa, what an extraordinary award ceremony. I have one more thing to do. I am going to leave you in the very capable, brilliant hands of Ricky Kedge because we need to do some dancing and celebrating. My name's Femi O.K. Okay. It's been a pleasure being your MC. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. Namaste, hola, greetings from India. Now I was here last year at the Equator Prize Award ceremony and I have to say it was one of the most beautiful and meaningful ceremonies I've ever attended. 
Now this year I'm absolutely honored to perform for you at this virtual edition to take part in an event that celebrates stories of indigenous people and local communities to place nature at the center of sustainable development. Now through their work, these 10 outstanding indigenous and local communities are striving together with many others around the globe to secure a future for generations to come. Now they lead by example, they give us hope. They give us the inspiration needed to restore our relationship with nature. Their stories show us that solutions do exist. Now I've been inspired by the stories myself, so I spent a lot of time with the indigenous people in Araku Valley in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh and try to understand their lifestyle. Now living out of natural farming, these communities showed me the value of working with nature for development, climate and biodiversity. This experience has inspired the song that I'll be performing for you today. It's called the One with Earth song. It highlights the importance of natural farming, the need to give up chemical fertilizers, but most importantly, the need to reconnect with a simple lifestyle. The song is a tribute to diversity by blending modern instruments and traditional instruments, English and indigenous dialect. I invite everyone to listen to the inspiring Equator Prize stories, learn from them and see how we can be their ally in this fight to protect, to restore and to work with nature. Now this song we are performing for you, that is the One With Earth song, is a celebration in recognition of the tremendous achievements of the communities around the world, leading local and impactful initiatives to secure nature for water, for climate, for prosperity and for life itself. Now performing with me we have Mumfo Mukhaba from South Africa, we have Arun Kumar and Wari Jashri from India, we have the amazing indigenous people singing and playing their wonderful traditional instruments from Araku Valley in India. Here is the One With Earth song.
Thank you. Thank you. What an spectacular show that was. We are so humbled by our 2020 Equator Prize winners. Your commitment, dedication, and achievements inspire us. We are truly grateful for the outstanding work on protecting our planet. Congratulations to you all. Please stay tuned for our next session beginning shortly. Head over to natureforlifehub.org or at UNDP Live on Twitter for the rest of today's sessions. We'll be back.